Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am a traditional and digital artist. I've been drawing digitally for about three years now. I want to share with you my favorite accessories that are essential to my workflow. All the links will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. Let's start with my iPad. This is the iPad Pro 11 inch from 2018, I believe. I bought this at the beginning of 2020, right before the pandemic. I bought it, I think, at a Costco store. I think it was the last one they had and I might have gotten it on a discount, so that was great. But you can get this one and much newer models on the Apple store or online on Amazon. And by the way, you definitely don't need an iPad to start making digital art. This is just what I have and what works for me. If you want to see the apps that I use every day to make my digital art, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video for that. Next up is the Apple Pencil. This is the second generation Apple Pencil. I got this one along with my iPad. Actually, I got this one about two months ago, I believe, because my old Apple Pencil died one day randomly. So I had to buy a new one. So actually, this one is from Amazon. The last pencil I had lasted me almost about three years and I hope this one lasts me a lot longer. Besides that, this pencil works great for me. I usually use it when I draw on Procreate. And you can double tap the pencil to switch from eraser to pencil, which can be really helpful. You don't have to get an Apple Pencil though. There are plenty of options online of different styluses you can use. But I personally haven't used any of them, so that's why I recommend the Apple Pencil. I also suggest that you get some extra Apple Pencil tips. And the tip itself has a metal part underneath that can start to show over time and this can really damage your iPad screen. This brings me to my next accessory, which is more of a necessity, and it's getting a good screen protector. I used to have a regular glossy screen protector on my iPad when I first got it, but the fingerprints and the light glare that it would get on the screen would bother me way too much. So to avoid all this, I recommend getting a matte screen protector. And the one I have is from Paperlike. If you haven't heard of Paperlike, they make screen protectors that have the feel of paper. I've had mine on for about a year now, I think. And so far it doesn't have any scratches, it doesn't leave those annoying fingerprints, and it sounds and feels like paper, which is what I like. Now you're also going to need a good case for your iPad. I recommend you get one that has a covered charging dock. This just means that you can connect your pen to charge on the side of your iPad and it won't stay hanging on the side. The case needs to have sort of like a little pocket for it. And this is gonna prevent the pen from falling and damaging and you having to lose it all the time. I've also found it really helpful when cases have this three-part fold in them. So they can fold upright and you can do things like watch Netflix or YouTube, or you can also fold it down like this for when you're drawing. Because having your iPad lay flat on your desk all the time when you're drawing can lead to both neck and back pain. Which is why I recommend you get a stand for your iPad. This will really help your posture. I have here an adjustable stand by Maxmart. I bought mine about two years ago and I really love it. It has two legs on the back that you can move and adjust and move it into these three ridges. And this is going to give you six different height options. It also has a little ledge on the front at the bottom and this is going to prevent your iPad from sliding all the way down. And when you're done, you can just close it and it folds flat. The thing I like about this one is that you don't have to take your iPad off of its case to put it on here. I've seen some that work that way and I just personally wouldn't want to use those because I don't want to risk my iPad falling down when it doesn't have the case on. And you can use this stand for pretty much anything. You can put your sketchbook in it, an art book, a cooking book. So this is why I really recommend it. Another great accessory that I recommend is getting a grip for your pencil. The Apple Pencil can be quite thin and when you're drawing for extended amount of times, your hand can cramp and it can be really uncomfortable. So I found this little grip. It slides onto your pencil and it adds a bit of extra thickness to it. This one is made out of silicone and right on the inside of the grip, it has these little rib designs so it will prevent the grip from sliding up and down your pencil. This one comes in a variety of different colors. I have the purple one. And there are different ones online that you can get that have different sizes, different colors, different shapes. So there is one out there for everybody. Now this is called an artist glove. When I draw, I tend to rest my hand on the iPad and sometimes it will recognize the side of my hand and will make an unwanted mark or undo something. And this can get pretty annoying. So this glove solves that problem. 
it won't recognize the side of my hand anymore and this will also prevent smudges and will allow my hand to glide smoothly over my iPad when I draw. It comes in three different sizes. I got the medium one. It's machine washable. It's suitable for both left and right hand. And it's one of those things you might not know you needed and now you can't live without. Something else that I got that I can't live without is this shortcut keyboard made for Procreate. I've been meaning to try this out for months and Pentips was kind enough to send me one to review. This little keyboard connects to your iPad via Bluetooth directly into Procreate. It has 23 different shortcuts for you to use and I love this thing. If you use Procreate, you know that it has a tons of different gestures that you need to remember like how to undo, redo, cut something out and paste it into a different layer. And this keyboard has all of them in here, so it's really easy to have them all laid out in front of you. You can get this straight from the pen.tips website. It comes in both black and white. And if you use Procreate, I definitely recommend you checking it out. Lastly, I recommend you get a microfiber cleaning cloth. You can get this pretty much anywhere. I just happen to have quite a few of them laying around because of my glasses. But you can also use it for your screen. It takes out dirt, oils from your hands, fingerprints, all that without leaving a scratch. And you can also use it for your phone or the camera on the back of the iPad. And that concludes today's video. Those are all the accessories that I recommend and all the links will be in the description down below. Let me know in the comments below which are your favorite accessories and if there's any that you have that I didn't cover in this video. Make sure to hit the notification bell to get an update every time I post a new video. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.